Hi everybody, this is John Abel. It's April 25th, 2015. Uh, today what I'm doing is, is uh, verifying the actual signal that's coming out of my ultrasonic vaporizer. Uh, this is a small 24 volt, uh, runs on 24 volts of DC, but uh, it does go through this circuit board here and it does create um, a double or a dual pulse pulse train. So there is some entrainment or some entanglement dynamics or technology inside this device, which I assumed. And um, this is what I was hoping for in my pressure cooker, but that's not how it quite works. So I can only hope for, for this kind of efficiency in my, in my uh, AM induction cooktop right now and also in this vaporizer. A uh, couple things that I wanted to mention. Uh, we, I can uh, now verify, here's the signal, and it is uh, you can see it's made up of, of two different frequencies. One is uh, uh, one worked out to be uh, 95 to 120 uh, microseconds of wave wavelength, and that happens because you turn the dial, and, and it actually changes the the frequency of the of the uh, the carrier or the 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 larger and the wider. I'm sorry, the wider hertz. Um, the the tighter hertz is uh, 500 nanoseconds wavelength or 2 megahertz. Uh, so the the ultrasonics do go up in, in as high as they can go. If you if you look up Wikipedia, you you can see that it it can go up into the um, higher megahertz range. Uh, so I do believe that that you are hitting uh, you know the microwave uh, frequencies with this type of technology. Um, I don't want to let the radiation aggravate me too much but you can feel it in your bones you can feel it in your ears after a while it, it does have a, a detrimental effect uh, so so be careful around this stuff um, use water obviously it's doing it because it doesn't have water in it you hear more of it um, so I'm, I'm gonna let I'm gonna shut this off now uh, but you can you can hear again the frequency change all right Thanks, everybody.